the oh, final here. act of war. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But I've I've been wanting to. T- I mean, I'm gonna, even now he uses a double. It seems our emperor lacks the courage to face Queen Aurelia. Before mm-hmm. Gerda had even finished speaking, the bodies of the emperor's double and his servants had been tossed from the castle battlements. Just then, Dalkian special forces appeared in great numbers and began to counterattack. This is the final battle, John T. Hub. The war will soon be over. This is your time. It's your turn to change the future. Don't you dial me before then. Very well. Thanks, Gyrdot. Um, what would you do if your name was Roin? I'd probably... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'd probably right, kill, uh, kill yeah, myself. Re- yeah, re-record. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Can you ask that one more time? Yeah, yeah. What would you do if your name was Roin? Oh, man. I'd probably legally change it to something better. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah that sounds like a plan man oh, do that dude this is the final battle it's the final countdown so, do you follow the game of the year bullshit i know you yes. tip it. do you yes i feel like we talked about it before and you don't like it what i don't like game of the year like the ceremony or yeah what? like the like the actual like the actual thing itself um i just pay attention to who wins i don't really like watch the whole thing oh uh, okay because there's a lot of categories that like it's you know i'm glad for the devs that they won an award for it but i don't really care did you see the noms uh for game of the year yes yes um how do you feel about them where is wait wait when when is the game awards happening? it is december 7th okay it will definitely definitely happen by then yeah I, i'm fine with the noms i think they're they're good. What's what's missing? Uh, I game? have beef with Resident Evil 4 being on there. Really? Resident Evil 4 is a remake, and I think there are tons of other original titles that are that are more deserving. Mm-hmm. Dude, you're getting fucking backlined. You you Wait. might be done. You're sandwiched. Wait. Yeah, you just fucking lost. No, I didn't. No, you. Okay. Lost. You um. Lost. So Resident Evil 4 being you a remake, mind, I think it's buddy. a little disingenuous towards things like Hi-Fi Rush, which was a lot. Like, I feel like it's a little bit more inventive. And I know you have your own feelings about Hi-Fi Rush. No, I like Hi-Fi Rush. I just, like, wasn't crazy about I'm, like, a rhythm gamer, too, but I, I wasn't, like, super crazy about it. It got five other, It got five different noms in different categories, though. Like, it's definitely deserving of being inside of the Game of the Year category. Yeah. Oh, definitely. As a nom. Like, I just... That, but just because, like, I didn't enjoy it doesn't mean it doesn't deserve... I, I, I can respect a game without, like, loving it. You know, or like Jedi Survivor. Like, that could have easily been a Game of the Year nom. Yeah! You know, like, I feel like there were other options other than Resident Evil 4. Right. And that's, like, one of them. Other, so it was, it was Alan Wake 2, which I'm playing through myself. And, you know, like, it feels deserving so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, which I fully played through. That's deserving, in my opinion. These are all my opinion. Right. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That's an obvious. Um, Super Mario Wonder, I've heard great things about. Great game. Resident Evil 4, and then Spider-Man 2. And <clears throat> Spider-Man 2 is also dessert. Like, I feel like a lot of them are, are hitting that mark, mm-hmm. and Resident Evil 4 just doesn't feel like that because it's a remake. Um, Yeah, I think it doesn't really stack up as well um, as those other games, to be honest. And it's it's not even a thing against remakes fully, but it's just the fact that it's a pretty, like, one-to-one remake. There's a few enhancements, a few story enhancements, and it's a really big remake for what it accomplishes, but I mm-hmm. think it's, you know... Yeah, compared to what it's up against. No, I, I totally agree. Because I'm, I don't know. I just sit there and I'm like, well, this is a little ridiculous because there's other things this year that could have easily made it, you know. And right. like Dead Space remake, for example. Like what? I mean, I think those are Dead Space remake and Resident Evil Four remake are very, very similar in quality mm-hmm. um, from a remake perspective. Okay. And how much improvement it does. Yeah. No, I agree. So I don't. I whatever. I just wanted to talk about it because it's been on my mind. I was talking. Uh, to uh, another person about it earlier today, and I, I feel like I'm talking against a wall sometimes. <laughs> so I have to make sure that I'm... And that's not a slight on the person. It's just like, I care so much it's about... It's a slight on me. No, I care so much about the ceremony. I'm the, and the wall awards in question. That it's, that it's something I deeply, deeply care about. Right, right, right. I've been watching this award ceremony consistently since 2016. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, I've been, I've been like, keeping track of who's, who's nominated, who's, who's in the running, you know? Yeah, I mean, I feel that. So it's just it's it's something a little important to me. Okay. I oh, mean, he's the, getting emotional. Oh, great. Well, the dream is to to one day attend as like a public member. Yeah. But more than that, it's to be on stage, either accepting an award or presenting something. Oh shit, that like, would be I, sick. that would be awesome. Like that's my fucking. Pipe Bro, that's dream. like you should do that. I would love to do that. <laughs> you should. I would love to do that. Bro, why don't you just accept an award? 
You know what? You're right. I'm you gonna should do go that. up on stage and say something about Bill Clinton. Remember that one, kid? That should be I really hope that shit doesn't happen again this year. I do too. I mean, I think Keeley's going to be a lot more mindful about it. I think uh, they're good. Yeah, I think they're going to make extra sure that like something like that probably doesn't happen again. But uh, you never know. You never fucking know. Oh, I got to fight. Decisive Houston. battle. Decisive battle. You're you're. Really? How was that scale of one to ten? That was a ten. Really? Yeah, you're awesome. Thanks, man. You too. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Shout out John, by the way. Aw, bitch. See, this is the thing. I get I get little compliments, and then I get little, and I hope I I hope I uh you know in, indulge you as well. Nice. I hope. Yeah, you do. I hope you feel respected, and uh, you know, and and the jokes are just jokes, guys. That's why that's why I gotta take a break so I can conceptualize that correctly. <laughs> We're still, we're still when I call him a useless piece of shit, I'm just joking. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like an hour later at this point, by the way. Mm -hmm. Dude, Kiernas might fuck you up or whatever his name is. He's got the fucking claws, dude. Nah, he sucks. You think so? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's called Grieve Edge, by the way. Grieve Edge? <laughs> yep. A lot of edging in this game. Yep. Well, it's because there's Soul Calibur and then there's Soul Edge. Those are the two swords. Do you mean you can edge to a certain caliber? <laughs> I wish, bro. What? <laughs> you're either edging or you're not. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. You're no, either you edging or you're... Get busy edging or get busy dying. Yeah. I'm a little bit of an edging legend. Ed Ooh, mm -hmm. he's spitting. Mm -hmm. And that's the title. And that's the title of the episode, baby. Edging legend. Edging legend. That, that makes Will me Smith feel some movie. type of way. Yeah, that Will Smith movie. What, I am edging legend? <laughs> edging legend. You know, it was... Um, I saw the movie when I was really young. It came out like what 2004 or something. Yeah, I saw. It, I was probably six at the time. I saw it in theaters, and I thought I'd only seen Fresh Prince. That was the only thing I saw Will Smith in. And uh, you know, I thought it would be like a little family-friendly, uh, fun. No, flip. it's like a vampire movie. Dude. Yeah, fun. It's like a zombie. Yeah, uh, a little scary. Did you at read the, the book? Time, at the time, I did. I did not read the book. I didn't know there was a book. Yeah, dude. Are I you, didn't know. Are you just this finding would, this out now? I didn't know this would be on the test. Are you, um, you're just finding this out now. Yeah. Yeah, it's based on a book called I Am Legend. Oh. And it's a it's a, a pretty good book, according to my understanding. Mm -hmm. The book does a lot of things differently. I was supposed to read it in 10th grade English class, mm -hmm. and uh, I just transferred into the school I graduated from, and so I didn't do that. And instead, I watched um, a lot of Walking Dead on my iPad. Because we had, like, iPads at that point. Right, right. Decisive we battle. Decisive battle. Well, so we were supposed to, like, read it on there and then, like, type up, like, essays or whatever. But, like, my teacher didn't read any of them. Like, he would just come around and, like, like gloss over it. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't actually read it. So, like, like, fuck it. Yeah. So, uh, like, I didn't, I didn't do shit in that class, like, the entire time. Like, the, his only request was that we were quiet and, like, reading shit and working. Mm -hmm. Like, it was probably the least engaging English class I've ever had. Understandable. Yeah, it was bad. Damn. Yeah, it's okay. That's unfortunate. No, it's all right. I had an English teacher that told me that uh, I would never make it in college because I didn't hand in a paper on the last two weeks of school in senior year of high school. What a fucking dick, dude. <laughs> and I told her, uh, okay. You should have told her to go fuck herself, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was pretty quiet in school. Uh, I didn't really... I was a pretty passive kid. I don't know. I mean... I was dropping mad f bombs in my high school. Yeah. Like in my junior and senior English class, I had the same teacher, and she is a she's a uh, she was a journalist out and had a very uh, flagrant uh, writing style, I'll say. Yeah. And so I, I we were reading some like like bi like biography or whatever on like a rich guy. Okay. And I was like, this motherfucker should pay his fair share of fucking taxes. Yeah. And like the class went quiet because it was like breakout like um. tables or whatever. <laughs> uh, which I hate that that's been integrated into my ca vocabulary because mm. of breakout rooms over Zoom. Right. Um, but you know, so she, she like the class goes quiet and she looks at me and she's like, and then looks at everyone else and she's like, it's a part of the English language. Mm. Yeah. As long as it's being used constructively. And I said, fuck yeah. I say, yeah, I'd say it was. It, it always was. Always. I bet, yeah, I've had good English teachers and bad. I think I know that that's like best and worst teachers have been in English, probably. We have, we have we're two sides of the same coin. Why is that? Because we you had the worst and I had the best. No, no, but I also had like a really good, like oh, my favorite teacher was also an English teacher. Really? But I did have a lot of bad English teachers also. That's just how it goes. Yeah. That's the way the shit crumbles.
When was your best English teacher? What year? My best English. I was a freshman in high school, and actually I had a pretty good one all throughout high school, except that one that I was talking about. Pretty oh, much every pretty good. Pretty much every year I had a good one. Good. Um. Yeah. So. So. Uh. Yeah. So. Uh. Yeah. Can I so, ask you? Can I ask you a question? Sure. This you can keep this in recording. Okay. How pissed are you gonna be if I go take a piss? You could go take a piss. Fuck. <laughs> I've had to pee for the last hour. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Well, Should I, like, from the no, they can't hear you from the bathroom. Guys, Addison's pissing. Uh, I'm in a master bedroom, so the the bathroom is like right here. So he's just he's kind of just like ten feet away from me pissing right now. I can imagine him kind of sitting there pissing and like and like edging and like uh, yeah, I, I, sounds like a good time to me. So, uh, hope uh, hope you guys enjoy. Was the biggest piss of my life. It was a big piss, you think? It was a massive piss. Because the issue is, I got to your place, right? Mm -hmm. And I had that big fucking water, and then I drank that water, like, instantly. Right. Because I was, like, tired. Mm -hmm. And then I drank the, the entire fucking Celsius. Right. And now I'm wired, but I had to, I had to piss so bad. I'm being and the, the entire fuck time you were talking... Guy, yeah, you are. The entire time you were talking... Why didn't you engage? Because I... Because I killed anyway. Oh, okay. I just wanted to be different. Oh, that you were fucking up that guy. I thought you were getting fucked up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no. I was, oh, wait. I don't want to fight with this guy, though. Um, so I think it'll be the fun. entire time you were talking, and it just sounded like Charlie Brown listening to his uh, teacher. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I couldn't hear <laughs> shit. <laughs> did he just engage? He just... He did. He can engage me, bro. Wow. Encounter. I'd be afraid of a guy like that. He takes charge. <sighs> Not only that, his name is Roin. And we all know what happened if your name was Roin. Yeah, I'd legally change it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be deeply uh, displeased with what the name is and probably change it. Legally. Legally, that is. Dude, what an awesome fucking lance. Chip damage idiot. All right, sorry. Wow. It's cool, Roin. He just smashed his controller into the monitor, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I threw it as hard as I could, guys. Why does Shark look different? Um, Green. No, like she... Maybe it's because she had the Yosu... Yo Yoshi the Yoshimitsu Mitsu shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Dude, don't, pop off. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, bro, but it's working. Dude, oh, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> you're fucking... You're insane. <laughs> All right, she rocks, bro. Shirk found her, her rhythm, bro. Yeah. Shirk, Shirk's new groove. Shirk, oh, dude. Yeah. That movie sucks. Yeah, it does. I like Emperor's new groove. One of my favorite... Disney movies, probably. Yeah, Gronk's though. Gronk's new groove, boring as shit. It's like let's have him hang out with the Squirrel Scouts the whole fucking movie for no the reason. Squirrel Scouts. Like let's, let's, the one, the one bit from the movie that like kind of doesn't land. It's kind of just like a little throwaway. It's not even a joke, really. It's just that he speaks Squirrel and he's like he runs the Squirrel Scouts at the end. Yep. Why are we making a movie out of that? Because he's awesome. Gronk is awesome. Okay? Give me your best Gronk impression. Hey, Peter. That's that's not Kronk. Hey, Peter. You want to hear my impression of him? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yzma. Where's the, uh, where's the Squirrel Scouts at, you Yzma, know? Yzma, I turned myself into a pickle. Yzma, I've been edging myself since, uh, <laughs> since the Chronicle Keep of the Sword. Keep edging yourself, Kronk. <laughs> Keep edging. <laughs> Yzma, I can't take it anymore. Why did you stop edging? Um, <laughs> God damn it. Do you think we have issues? Crank your yank, Kronk! <laughs> edge more. I can't do a Yzma oh, voice Edge more. You gotta make me edge more. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, I gotta stop. You gotta make me yeez. You gotta make. <laughs> shout out Addison being back. Yeah. Both, shout out. both me from taking a piss and also Addison. I'm not sure if you're gonna keep <laughs> <Edgison>. in. <laughs> Edgison, I'm not sure if you're gonna keep in the piss chronicles. But no, I'll keep in the piss. I, I no, I was saying that if um, you could hear the sound of the piss in the background, I wasn't gonna include it, because like you can kind of hear, you know, bathroom sounds muffled. Yeah. I don't know if the mic picked it up, but it would it, be crazy if it did. That would be crazy. I don't think it would, to be honest. Someone but. would end up commenting like, "Damn boy, you fry chicken with that yeah, piss." Yeah, yeah. I hear him pissing at 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 11:04 timestamp. <laughs> Someone, someone screen cap it. Yeah. Decisive battle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game is so fun, dude. I fucking love this game, dude. I love this game. The, 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 the crowd, 
The fans will love it. Fighting game gamers oh. might not. Hold on, I have to do our voice. So, so come. you've come. Everyone's saying, so you've come. <laughs> Worthless servant of strife. You shall pay with your blood for not edging. For daring to defy me. Which is the same as not edging. <laughs> nice. Oh my fucking god. Uh huh. Call it a mix up, dude. So you're saying I'm back. Yeah. Tatsumaki! Yeah, spinning Lotus! Yeah. Did you hear him? You never stood a chance. Yeah, but he said, it like, you've never stood a chance. Yep, he's... I'm going to be the mayor. <laughs> yep. So now we're out to the, con to the time skip, right? I think we're at the time skip now. Oh, man. We have to do our big design thing. We man. have to do our bit. Yeah, our big character customization. Mambo. M Mambo. Mom, ladies and gentlemen. Mambo number five. Ladies and gentlemen, Mambo number herp, five. Herp, now, herp, uh, herp, herp. here's my question herp, for you. Herp. Sure. Do you think we do that now? What redesign the characters? Yeah, yeah. Okay, because it's the this is I think this is the time skip one. Next time, time skip. 